Okay, folks, this video is for uh, the teacher made lab that covers electrolytes versus non electrolytes. And we're going to test it with our handy dandy little device there that will indicate by glowing either very brightly or just a little bit to let us know if it's an electrolyte. So remember, um, according to Arrhenius, in order for a solution to conduct electricity, and be identified as an electrolyte, ions must be present in solution, and these ions must be free to move. Ionic compounds dissolved in water or melted are electrolytes. So remember, an ion is a positively charged or a negatively charged ion, which allows the uh, conductivity to flow through, and it's gonna light up our little bulb here. So as we go through the different solutions, you will either mark it as yes or no on your teacher made for an electrolyte. Then you're going to you're going to say it's a strong electrolyte, weak electrolyte, or a non-electrolyte on your second um, choice there, <clears throat> based on how bright or how dim the light lights up when we put it in different solutions. And then in between each solution, it's important for us to clean off our little yellow conductors there by putting it in this beaker. And we'll show you uh, once that we're going to do that. And then you're going to assume that after each solution, we're going to dip it in the cleaner and clean it. Okay, so we're going to test our first solution, which is tap water. That is. So <clears throat> go ahead and make your observation. And then we're going to clean it off in the cleaning solution which is just water okay. okay here's distilled water all right go ahead and make your observations next we're going to test some solid sodium chloride it's ready over table salt okay make your observations okay let's try sodium chloride that is dissolved in water that's why there's an aq for aqueous Oh man, really bright, very bright. So go ahead and uh, make your observations. Next, we're gonna try some solid sugar, that good sweet stuff. Go ahead and make your observations of solid sugar. All right, now let's try some sugar that's dissolved in water, some sugar water. Go ahead and make your observations on that one. Now we're going to try some potassium nitrate, aqueous, which is KNO3. Ooh, nice and bright. Okay, go ahead and make your observations of that. Folks, now we're going to look at pretty and blue copper 2 sulfate, nice and aqueous. See what happens when we put that in there. Oh, nice and bright. Go ahead and make your observation. Now we're going to try some isopropyl alcohol. Okay, go ahead and make your observations. Okay, next we're going to try some aqueous sodium hydroxide. Nice and bright. Go ahead and make your observations. Okay, folks, next we're going to try some ammonium hydroxide. And it's lighting up barely there. So go ahead and make your observation. Okay, folks, now we're going to try some hydrochloric acid, HCl. Very Ooh, bright. Very bright. Very bright. Okay, go ahead and make your observations of that. Okay, folks, we're going to try some dilute acetic acid solution. So let's start a little bit of light there. All right, go ahead and make your observations on that one. We are going to try some concentrated acetic acid. Remember, acetic acid is just vinegar. Oh, it's a little dimmer, actually. So go ahead and make your observations on the concentrated acetic acid. Okay, folks, here's our last one we're going to try for your observations, some good old Gatorade. Oh, what's going on there? It is weird. Maybe we should try some fresh Gatorade? 
We're going to try that one more time for Gatorade just to make sure we our tester is working correctly. But yeah, and all that, you know, advertised for Gatorade and its electrolytes. Maybe the sugar drowns it out. Who knows? But it's not lighting up our little indicator. So go ahead and make your observations and then go ahead and answer the rest of the questions that are on your teacher made um, uh, little uh, worksheet that you can do for this lab and then uh, turn it in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.